Now, this is not all of threading, there is a little more. Till now, we spoke about threads sharing a common information or data. Now, we will talk about where you have multiple threads. A thread has a local data or local information which is required to be passed to another thread. Now, of course, you can say you can put it into a class or you can pass it, but how will you pass it? Within the run method, I have some information which I have processed which I would like to pass to another thread. If you put it as a uh, shared inf common information, then it's, again it is shared. What we are saying is it is a very, very much a local information which I need to, some data which I have generated which I need to pass to another thread. In order to pass across threads information, we talk about inter-thread communication and inter-thread communication is always via pipes. So, this is where we make use of piped input stream, output stream class or the pipe reader writer class we said that we would be discussing during multi-threading. So, let us take a look at an example, where we are going to create two threads. One is called as a running average thread, another is called as a number generator thread. The number generator thread is going to generate random numbers, which has to be passed to a running average thread, which is going to calculate the average of all the numbers it keeps receiving from a number generator thread and keep displaying to the console. Let us see how to achieve this. Let us say we have class number generator extends thread and we have class running average extends thread, both are thread classes. Now, the thing is the number generator is going to generate a local data, which has to be written to a pipe, which the running average needs to read from the pipe input stream and process it. So, number generator writes the data, running average needs to read the data coming from number generator. So, number generator requires a pipe output stream, running average requires a power pipe input stream to read from the pipe. Now, pipe output stream and pipe input stream, they are two separate objects. So, if I were to create a pipe output stream here and pipe input stream here, how do I connect with both? Because they are two different objects, because what we need to say is whatever is coming from this output stream needs to be read from this input stream. There should be some way of binding both pipe output stream and pipe input stream. So, because of this, you cannot create the pipe output stream here and pipe input stream objects in this respective classes. You need to create the pipe stream objects therefore, here and pass the appropriate pipe stream objects to the number generator and the running average class. So, we create the pipe output stream Remember when you are working with streams, they throw exceptions, so put it in a try catch block. Then create your piped input stream.
Now to bind between the pipe output stream and the pipe input stream, when you are creating this pipe input stream, pass the pipe output stream object as a parameter. By the way, you can do a vice versa also. You can create pipe input stream first, then create a pipe output stream and while creating a pipe output stream, pass the pipe input stream object. Does not matter which way you do it. But one point that you need to remember is, once one pipe input stream and one pipe output stream are mapped to each other, they cannot be mapped to another pipe input or the pipe output stream. In other words, I cannot create another pipe input stream, let us say 2, with pipe input stream passing the same pipe output stream because I get an exception, already bound exception. So, one pipe input stream can be bound to only one pipe output stream and vice versa. So, once we have mapped the output stream and the input stream together, now we can create an instance of those classes, number gen ng is equal to new number gen. Now, number generator class needs to make use of pipe output stream, so it can write into the pipe, so pass that as a parameter here. And running average needs the pipe input stream. Call start on both the threads. That is class pipe test. Now, let us look at number generator. We need a uh, constructor here, which takes the piped output stream object. Now, the type of number, random number that we are going to generate here is going to be a double type and we would like to write a double value into a pipe and on the other side we would like to read it as a double value. So, to read and write as a double data type, we need to make use of the data input output stream class. So, we are going to declare a data output stream DOS is new data output stream. Again, remember data output stream cannot stand by itself. It needs to know where to read the double from and that is uh, sorry to write the double to in this case. So, we need to pass the pipe output stream object as parameter. We need to override the run method. It is in the run method where we generate the random number. So, we will have random. Random is a class in the util package. So, you need to import java dot util here. Run is equal to new random. double d. We will have a while true loop, which means to say we are never going to exit out of, the, out of this program execution, because of the way we are writing the code here. So, in the while true loop, we go on generating the number and there we keep receiving the number to keep displaying the average. So, uh, d is equal to ran dot next float is a method there. This returns a float type of value. I am just going to apply some formula on this to get a double number. Write this double value to the pipe by saying dos dot write double of d, then call flush. So, to push out the contents and then go back generate the next number write this goes on happening out here. 
So catch exception.